Boys and girls, have I got a very, very special treat for you guys today. Welcome back to another video, guys, on Apex Legends Mobile, and a little treat for you guys. As you've seen in the intro, I've been given some more leaks for Apex Legends Mobile in terms of the Battle Pass. We're going to cover the Battle Pass that I found today, and it looks insane. But not only that, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, global launch release date. So as you guys can see behind me right now, I, I, like I said, I received the Battle Pass info in the video. And look up in the top right corner just here. What does that date say, guys? 2022 0101 the 1st of January 2022 is when this battle pass is going to be released on the Apex Legends mobile game that is incredible news I can't believe we found this this is actually nuts that means we've actually only got five months to wait until we're gonna have our hands on the global launch of the game which means the closed beta is coming in two weeks we're gonna play that beta for a couple of weeks then the soft launch is gonna come probably in August time and then the global launch is gonna come by Actually, it's going to come before January because if we look, at, if we take a look at some other mobile games that came out, um, like Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile, those specific games actually released first without a battle pass and without, yeah, basically without a battle pass and without a season. So some mobile games released first without a season or a battle pass, and then they bring them in probably about anywhere from two to four weeks after. So if that's the case. The date we can see right there, the 1st of January 2022, that's not actually going to be the release date of the game. I think the release date is going to come by the 1st of December or sometime in November because then we'll play the game for a bit and then to hype up the game and to get everyone excited, they'll release the Battle Pass and the first season of the game by January 1st. So that's insane. I can't believe we finally got some sort of, you know, a date and some sort of timeline of when the game is going to come out. Um, obviously, if they're putting dates on the, uh, on the leaks already for from, from the playtest and, and from the closed beta, then yeah, we're going to have the, the, the game definitely before the end of this year. So that's what we wanted to know. I hope you guys are hyped. Make sure you comment down below if you are hyped and, uh, and tell me a bit about it. But today... We're going to go over the Battle Pass because this is going to be the first ever Battle Pass that's going to come in Apex Legends Mobile. I'm going to play the video. We're going to watch it in the background and just react to it. So, yeah, we've got a, a standard Battle Pass. You can see it's called Origin. Um, it looks like it has 40 levels, as you can see right there, or unless this is... Uh, oh, no, sorry, that's 40 gold. So this is only showing five levels. I can imagine this Battle Pass is going to have probably around uh 100 levels the same as any other battle pass in mobile games but it's going to come with some really cool things as you can see ah here we go we're scrolling along it now um so if you go back a bit obviously from the from the get-go when you open the battle pass you usually get some free stuff so if you buy the premium battle pass it doesn't show a price on there yet but um you can actually purchase more ranks with the battle pass but you've got a premium and a free battle pass okay so the premium one usually costs a bit more and and then obviously the free one you can either unlock in game or you can buy that for a lot cheaper so when buying the battle pass you do get a cool jibby skin you get uh, you get a flatline skin and it looks like you get some banner poses as well so um that's the that's the flatline skin that you get when releasing the battle pass which doesn't look great in the moment because obviously it's just the uh it's it's very early on and I mean, it does still look cool, but yeah, it's still very early on. So, and then here is the uh, the uh, Gibby skin that you actually get, a Gibraltar skin, which uh, which looks really cool. I'm actually really excited for the skins in the game on each character. I think the skins really define Apex Legends. They they've got some of the coolest skins in the game, and um, and yeah, let's just move on anyway. So. Uh, if we scroll along a bit, yeah, you get some cool sort of uh, banner pictures, banner frames. It looks like um, these blue uh, little icons, guys, these are actually uh, crafting materials. So you can use those to earn in game and then you can buy skins with those. But you can also buy skins with gold as well. So you've got two different currencies, crafting materials and gold. Each one can buy skins and sort of legends and stuff. If we uh, if we scroll along a bit, you can also see there's so much other stuff as well. There's sort of banners. There's It looks like there's more 
more sort of gold coins. This is a, a caustic skin, which is, yeah, you can see there it's level 20 of the battle pass. It's called fiber optics. I think this is just a reshade of blue. Um, so it's nothing special on there. Like I said, some of these skins, guys, are, are just going to be sort of standard uh, sort of recolors and stuff. Um, I don't know. I think that's on the free battle pass as well, the caustic one. So yeah, it's not going to be anything special. Uh, more gold coins. Got a cool wraith skin here, which I, I believe is just another recolor, but this is on the premium pass. Uh, if we just scroll along a bit more, but yeah, you can get everything, guys. Gold coins, banner frames. The battle pass is looking insane. And uh, like I've said before, you get crafting materials, gold coins, and normal Apex coins as well. And they all differentiate and, and, and are able to buy different things. So uh, scrolling along a bit, I think this battle pass goes to... It looks like it goes to level 50. Ah, there we go. Right, so we get... Level 50 is, is the max, and I, I believe that they'll, they'll probably update it to level 100. Um, 50 doesn't seem too hard, and, and you've got 100 levels on the uh, PC and console version as well. But here is the Al Diablo skin for Octane. This is my favorite skin. I always use this skin on all Apex Legends, and I love this Octane skin, and that's a level 50 golden skin. And then also you've got the R99 as well. This is one of the best R99 skins in the game, and the R99 is one of the most powerful SMGs in the game, if not the most powerful. But basically, I, I, I don't want to say the game is pay to win or the weapon skins are pay to win, but on the PC and console version, some of the weapon skins you buy make it a bit easier to shoot enemies due to the iron sights on the actual guns, because some of the guns have really big iron sights, so it makes it hard to actually spin on people, but some of the skins like this R99 skin has an easier iron sight where it's just a tiny little red dot and you can shoot people much easier. So I don't want to say the game is pay to win when it comes to skins, but it slightly is. But we'll have to just see when the actual game comes out and see if Respawn actually adhere to that. So that is the Battle Pass, guys. It goes to level 50. I'm just seeing if there's anything else on here. Obviously, you can purchase ranks as well, all the way up to... I th it shows 10 stars there. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that means you can only buy... 10 of the uh, of the ranks and then you have to grind the rest of them I don't know I would love to just click this purchase battle pass right now and check it out but unfortunately this is a video so I can't uh, up here obviously yeah it's season one guys so as I said before the global launch comes uh, the global launch for this battle pass and season one comes in on the 1st of January 2022 but that doesn't mean the game is coming out then like I've said before the game could come out three to four weeks before then because they like to developers like to release a game first get everyone playing it and then after two to four weeks once they've got everyone playing it when once people have seen the game and, and downloaded the game and started playing it they'll release the battle pass in season one to get full exposure of all of the people that have downloaded the game so yeah, I, I still expect the actual global launch to come probably around the end of November, beginning of December. Maybe on the 1st of December. That, that's probably my new predicted date. The 1st of December 2021 is probably going to be the global launch of Apex Mobile, which means the closed beta is coming in two weeks. The soft launch will probably come August, beginning of September. And then we're going to get the global launch around November, December time. So that's my new predicted timeline, guys. It's probably going to come true i predicted pretty much everything so far we should be getting a trailer soon as well which i've been saying for a few months now um but i'm sure they're they're working on something to promote the game literally nothing else on here you've got a little gift box I'm not sure what that means a little play button I, I think that's just show what your actual legend looks like on the skin uh that's it guys that is the end of this video i hope you guys are hyped we finally got some sort of date and some sort of news when apex is going to come out I'm buzzing. I can't wait to actually play this game. It's going to be insane. The next thing we're looking forward to is obviously the close beta in a couple of weeks. And then we'll get the soft launch and we can really see what the game looks like. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying these leaks. And I, I want to keep you guys up to date with any news and anything related to the game. So I'd appreciate it if you just hit a sub. Hit a like. Make sure you go follow me on my social Twitter as well. That's where I post all of my leaks before having to wait for a YouTube video to come out. So if you go follow me on there, you can keep up to date with everything, including, uh, well, regarding Apex Legends Mobile. And I feel like I've been ranting for ages. So I'm going to end this video now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!